looked, you know, Patrick and Christian were extremely competitive during the during the piece, like, and uh, I think, you know, it was like, who was going to really, you know, shine out? Dempsey was frustrated by the demands of Hollywood and his overbearing wife. He had made a dozen films in six years, but only Can't Buy Me Love was a bona fide success. Mobsters was the latest in a growing list of professional missteps that had Dempsey reconsidering the course of his career. A young girl raped and murdered. It looks like she really got beat up pretty good. A juror defies the court. What a idiot would do this and jeopardize the whole thing. A judge rushes to judgment. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong, and there's no justice for Hannah and her family. Notorious, who killed Hannah Hill? Tomorrow at 8, only on Bio. I look into your eyes I listen to your heart I feel your soul And it's beautiful So Takes my breath away So Drives me wild So beautiful Hello, I'm Johnny K. The best of the Johnny Cash TV show, the extraordinary two DVD set, featuring four hours of all-star performances from 1969 to 1971, including Credence Clearwater Revival, Neil Diamond, Mr. Jerry Lee Lewis, Charlie Pride, Linda Ronstadt, the great Satchmo Louis Armstrong, Loretta Lynn, plus exclusive interviews. The best of the Johnny Cash TV show, in stores now. To order, call or log on to johnnycashtv.com. The natural condition of our eyes is moist, but sometimes your eyes don't produce enough tears. If you use over-the-counter eye drops several times a day, ask your eye doctor about Restasis. Restasis helps increase your natural ability to produce tears, which may be reduced by inflammation due to chronic dry eye. You can have chronic dry eye without knowing it, like me, and my doctor prescribed Restasis. It's the only eye drop that helps your eyes increase tear production with continued use. Go to Restasis97.com or call 1-866-311-2391 to get your free information kit and a $20 rebate. Restasis should not be used by patients with active eye infections and has not been studied in patients with a history of herpes viral infections of the eye. The most common side effect is a temporary burning sensation. One drop twice a day with continued use helps me make more of my own tears. Tell your eye doctor how often and how long you've been using over-the-counter drops and ask if Restasis is right for you. Dell Inspiron 1520, powered by Intel Centrino Duo Processor Technology. Dell, yours is here. By the mid-1990s, 29-year-old Patrick Dempsey was already considered a has-been. The hit romantic comedy Can't Buy Me Love had made him an overnight teen idol but he was never able to duplicate its success. Dempsey felt hurt and rejected by the profession he loved. He got the reputation of being someone who was a little difficult to work with. And then when he tried to transition from being a teen heartthrob to being a leading man, adult leading man, um, it didn't go so well. So the public had a hard time accepting him in those older roles and he just ended up in a string of sort of bombs. When he was in a good mood, he was the greatest person to be around, you know? But if he'd get on a dark jag, you know, then it would be, you just try to give him space. That was also sort of an example and a template that everybody was subscribing to at the time. Be difficult and be a jerk, because that's cool. After a growing list of roles and unsuccessful movies that included Lover Boy, Happy Together, and Mobsters, Dempsey flew to Paris in the summer of 1991 to do some soul searching. Hollywood's decision makers weren't waiting for his return. 
He really had gone a long way from the guy who was performing with Rob Lowe and Snow White in, in the uh, Star of Tomorrow uh, musical number at the Academy Awards to the guy who had basically no name recognition anymore. And he, you know, he told me he was the guy who starred in that 80s movie. What was there were 80s, you know, I'm the good looking pizza guy movies. You know, that was what was uh, happening. It was very light fare and there was nowhere else to go, you know, so. And once you're pigeonholed in Hollywood, you know, trying to get out of that is, is, it's terrible. Dempsey returned to Hollywood and auditioned for everything he could. He was frustrated to discover that a handful of bad films and a short hiatus had relegated him to the B-list and supporting roles in TV movies. He's actually had it when he's young and he really has it when he's uh, a mature young man. But there is that lull, which I think is inevitable. That probably was responsible for a lot of his um, for anger and disappointment, because you want to have it. It's addictive. Playing second fiddle was a new experience for Dempsey, and he didn't like it. He resented being pushed off the A-list and even stopped going to movies. Dempsey couldn't stand to watch other actors play the roles he wanted. He placed part of the blame on his controlling wife. The relationship with Rocky vis-a-vis -vis her being an acting coach, I think that might have held him back a little. I think there might have been some directors when he was in his 20s who shied away from that situation. That might have uh, been a factor in his not uh, bursting into stardom, let's say, at that time. Dempsey's unconventional marriage to a woman 27 years his senior was faltering. He decided to end his relationship with Rocky Parker. He's admitted that there were infidelities on both sides, and he called it, at one point, he did say that um, it was definitely something very Freudian going on. I think he called it his wild Freudian period. The couple divorced in 1994. Rocky Parker had overseen every aspect of Dempsey's career. Now alone, Patrick had to deal with everything himself, including his dyslexia. So he would write and rewrite by hand the, the scripts as they were so that he could get them commanded to memory. I will say this about uh, Patrick. His preparation was tremendous. There's a lot of actors uh, nowadays who don't really prepare. They kind of walk in cold every day. And Patrick was extremely well prepared. And that might be a result of being dyslexic. But when he came to the set, he was ready to perform. While Dempsey struggled to find acting work, he paid the bills by restoring old houses and selling them for a profit. He also took up modeling. The skinny body that had once made Dempsey the ideal choice to play the role of a teenager had finally matured. He was a very slight boy. He, he was thin. He wasn't very tall, really. I mean, some people might, you know, describe him as scrawny and very wiry. Uh, lots of energy and so yeah when I saw him as as a man I was I was very surprised by the transition very few people have changed as much from age 21 to age 40 as Patrick has he's really uh, I, I was shocked frankly I hadn't seen him for about 10 years and when I saw him as a as an adult I was shocked at what a hunk he had become, frankly. Dempsey's new stature was yet to be noticed by Hollywood, but he was turning the heads of the women he met. On a trip to the hair salon, he caught the eye of a beautiful blonde hairdresser named Jillian Fink. Jill was looking through uh, that day's uh, scheduled appointments, and she thought it was a joke because that same uh, person had also written in other people from the 80s, like Molly Ringwald or whatever. So when Patrick Dempsey actually showed up, she was uh, quite surprised, and they started flirting. Ultimately, three years later, they ended up marrying. They married in 1999. Jillian encouraged her new husband to develop a more positive attitude and stop obsessing over his lost celebrity status. Patrick took her advice to heart and renewed his efforts to reconnect with his passion for acting. No one was more surprised than Dempsey when his new attitude helped put him back on the A-list. Another good thing about GEICO is they've got, like, real live people working there 24-7. So, like, say you need to report a claim, right? A real person will be there to help you. Then you can use GEICO.com to view photos of the damage, track your claim, print an estimate. You want an English muffin? They literally hand you a toasted muffin with butter and jam. Oh, it's tasty.
that's a, that's a complete dramatization, of course, but you get my point. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more.